Arrogant male lead is a popular Chinese drama tag that refers to the male protagonist's arrogant and domineering personality. These characters often display a cold and aloof attitude, but eventually fall in love and soften their attitude. Here are 10 Chinese dramas about arrogant male main characters. One, my boss. You just said you're the king of the jungle. I'm tired. The boss. Okay, come on. Why do you think I'm a special guest? I'm lying. Founder of June Hang Law Firm, Kian Hang, and Rookie Lawyer, Cheng Yao, go from boss or employee to landlord or tenant in a shared house. They began to rub off on each other in terms of work, life, habits, and principles, and began to fall in love. Two, the baking challenge. This one drama tells the story of the destitute star chef He Xian, who used to look down on dim sum, in order to regain everything he lost and make a comeback. He was forced to participate in the King of Dim Sum Pastry Competition. For this purpose, He Xian sought guidance from the pastry god teamed up with talented teammates, embarked on the path of dim sum. Three, love is written in the stars. Love is Written in the Stars tells about Zhou Yuan is a martial arts prodigy who will fall seriously ill if she starts to form emotional attachments. After disguising herself as a man to break into King Yun Academy, she meets the young Marquis who hates weddings. Fate has forcibly tied Wei Qi and Zhou Yuan's destinies together. Wei Qi is the only son of Wei Hu. On the outside, he is outstanding and carries with him an air of arrogance. In private, he is a man who hates marriage because each of his prospective marriages have resulted in failure. Other than that, he is the overlord of King Yun Academy. Four, strange tales of Tang Dynasty. This drama tells about when the dark, evil immortal descends from the heaven, and the mysterious underground ghost palace was revealed. A strange herb named the Black Tea suddenly took Chang'an City by storm. However, no one knows whether it is a healthy medicine or one that could harm people. Cases of missing brides in Chang'an City began occurring one after another which seems to be inextricably linked to the Black Tea. Lu Lingfeng, general of the Jin Wu Guards, was tasked to investigate these cases. On his journey, he meets his strongest opponent in Su Wu Ming, the disciple of Di Ren Ji. The two of them work together to solve these mysterious cases. Five. Fall in love. This one drama tells the story of Fu Zida, the young and promising heir of Fu's Anju group, developed an alternate personality because of a past trauma. He is handsome but indifferent. Fu Ziyi's alter ego, Lin, is the complete opposite to Fu Zida Kias a melancholy personality, and likes to play the piano. Jing Zixia first met Lin, and they had a one-night stand with each other. But when Fu Zi the woke up the next morning and cannot remember what happened, he left without a word, leaving Jing Zixia baffled. One year later, Jing Zixia meets Fu Zi the again under different circumstances, and things get complicated when both personalities start vying for Jing Zixia's love for themselves.
6. Road to Rebirth. Road to Rebirth, a story between celebrity and a neighborhood girl who becomes his manager. Because of her cousin, Sun Xiaoyi is swayed into accepting the job to become a personal maid for hotshot celebrity Su Xing. After spending day after day together, Sun Xiaoyi discovers a side of Su Xing that nobody knows. He helps children with their schooling, reaches out to sick fans, and would rather take a hit in his own reputation in order to protect his younger sister. Soon Xiao A finds herself falling for Su Sheng and chooses to stay by his side, even as his star has fallen out of the limelight. Together, Su Sheng and his new manager Zhao Ai decide to make a comeback in the industry. Seven, Mary, me. 师父啊，从现在起你不要再关注我，你我师徒情分，到死为止。这夫妻普非同寻常，难怪这师伯因冒险回乡。Musician Rumu Yi's carefree life comes to a devastating halt when her music teacher Shi Biao Yin is murdered, and she loses her sight. Wishing to find justice for her teacher, she proceeds to investigate his death. Her research keeps her crossing paths with Long Yu, the capital of the richest man. He Huochu is sly, arrogant, and possesses a sharp tongue. He Huochu is known for valuing money more than life itself. Eight, Su Yu. He Mu Jue Chen, ye pei. 这幅面容,你不配 Mu Zhu Chen is the Qian Mu Mountain Pavilion's young master. Dashingly handsome, exceptionally clever, and skilled in the martial arts, he is beloved by his subjects. Unfortunately, he is also exceptionally arrogant and self-obsessed. His long-suffering assistant Qian Yu is a young woman who was abandoned at the pavilion as a baby. She has been Mu Zhu Chen's loyal foil for 10 years, but after a year of putting up with his quirks, she has had enough. Upon discovering her true identity, she is relieved that she no longer has to be Mu Ju Qin's footstool, and resolves to leave him forever. Nine, burning. Forty one years, the leader Xu Guangyi, he is a Longxin Jiatan man. Through handling a dead body case, Yao Feng, a policeman from a family of police, discovers the case related to his grandfather and father many years ago. During the investigation, he encountered many obstacles and tried to find the truth behind the case. Ten, my dear destiny. In the time of the Yi, humans, the Wolf Tribe, and the witches lived dangerously together on the land of Zhen Zhou. The divine maiden of the witch tribe, Miki Qi, was sent to the human world by her master from the tribe and is then embroiled in the fight of King Luau's harem. The two eventually joined hands to calm the chaos of the three tribes, 